Hi there. Today I want to do a quick in-service on the TTL training test lung from Michigan Instruments. Uh, we're going to be working with the dual adult TTL today. And so with the dual adult, we have two adult lungs. And we can ventilate one or both of those lungs simultaneously. Uh, what, we are, what we simulate with the TTL, let's cover that first. What we're simulating is a typical adult lung volume. And so each lung has a expandable bellows representing the lung. And that bellows maintains a residual volume that's a typical adult volume. We can adjust the lung compliance on each lung by adjusting the position of this compliance spring. And we can make the lungs very stiff or non-compliant or very compliant. So we can cover a whole range of, of lung diseases. And each lung is independently adjustable to the position of that compliance spring. The other thing we simulate is airway resistance. And we do that by assembling an airway outside the lung that uh, incorporates one of the many airway resistors we provide in our kit. Uh, the things that we monitor on the TTL are lung volume, and that's done using the volume scale on each lung. So this volume scale flips up, and then you adjust the pointer for that scale so that it corresponds with the setting of the compliance spring. Okay. Uh, the other thing we monitor is uh, pressures. And so we're looking at the pressure in the right lung, the pressure in the left lung, and the airway pressure. So this way you can see the differentiation between what's happening at the airway and what's happening in the lung. A couple other features of the TTL uh, is, are the oxygen sensor ports. You see each each lung has a port, and it is designed to fit an oxygen fuel cell. So it goes right in there and seals, so you can monitor the oxygen concentration in the lungs. Another feature are these auxiliary pressure pickoff ports. So these are checked valves, and, but you can use those to hook up an additional monitor and measure that pressure. You can also use those to introduce a gas into the lungs. And the uh, accessory kit comes with all of the things you need for assembling an airway, and in including our quick connections here for making use of those auxiliary pressure ports. Okay, I'm gonna assemble an airway, and I'll start with uh, assembling an airway so that we're ventilating both sides of the, of the dual adult TTL. To do that, I take one of our straight barrel connectors. And one thing you'll notice is that the connectors that we use on the TTL are standard respiratory fittings. So this connector has an outer diameter of 15 millimeters. This one has an outer diameter of 22 millimeters. So it'll fit your standard respiratory equipment. So I'm putting an adapter in place. I'm putting a, one of our resistors in place, and again, you can make this, uh, we have five different resistor sizes, RP5, 20, 50, 200, and 500. So you select the resistance that you want to represent in this simulation. We will bring those together, tubing and a little Y connector. And then we will take one of our, what we call a pressure pickoff adapter. And hook it up out here. Actually, what I'm going to do first is add an upper airway resistance as well. And here's my pressure pickoff adapter. And this one I'm connecting to the center gauge. So what we're doing here is now we're looking at the pressure in the uh, upper airway, which is typically the pressure that a ventilation device is going to be monitoring. So this is the, the basic setup for dual adult ventilation. And I can 
make adjustments to my compliance on each lung. I can make adjustments to my resistance on each lung and, um, and the upper airway resistance. Now it's a matter of ventilation. I'm going to hook up just a ventilation bag, resuscitation bags, simple as a ventilator. Let's show you how that works. Monitoring volume, monitoring pressures, both lungs rising, but differently because of the difference compliance of those lungs. Now again, I'm using a resuscitation bag, but we can certainly hook up any ventilator to this connector right here and be doing that same, that same simulation, uh, that same demonstration. So like I had mentioned earlier, you can simply ventilate one side of this uh, TTL because each lung has a capacity of two liters. So that's well within the typical range of uh, ventilation for adults. So to do that, we simply need to take some of these components out of place, out of the way, and now we have that set up. Okay, and just to demonstrate, I will hook up a simple ventilator to this side and let it do its work. And I'll adjust this to a more typical patient. Noisy ventilator, <laughs> but there are all kinds. You see what's happening there. I'm going to turn that off for a minute. One of the ways that we can ex you can expand on the simulations that you're doing with this system is to add uh, a head to the simulation. We offer our HSM head simulation modules which again have that same standard 15 millimeter connector. And now what happens is you have a, uh, a head that allows you to ventilate this test lung using any kind of non-invasive ventilator, bag valve mask, uh, lots of options that uh, just expand the, the potential use of the TTL. One other thing I want to quickly mention and show you is the setup for uh, to simulate spontaneous breathing. So just to mention, we'll get into it in greater, uh, greater specifics uh, further on, but I want to just show you the potential use for simulated spontaneous breathing patient. We include a lung coupling clip in each kit. That kit would hook onto your left lung, and the, the bar goes underneath the right lung, and by now by ventilating this side, ventilating the left lung, I lift the right lung, creating a simulated spontaneous breathing patient. Now when that lung lifts, this patient breathes in. When the lung drops, the patient exhales. And this again adds to a, the whole range of uh, applications that are possible for the TTL. That is a very quick overview and in service on the dual adult TTL. Again, we also offer the adult infant TTL where you ventilate just one lung at a time and a single adult lung TTL. Um, again, happy to answer all your questions. If you have uh, need additional information or have questions, please contact Michigan Instruments or visit michiganinstruments.com. Thanks for your time.